So I would just like to welcome you, first of all. Thank yes. you for joining us. Thank and you. Go ahead and just introduce yourself for people that may not be familiar with your music, kind of you know, tell them a little bit about your story. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Sandra Lynn, and I am from Southern California. And I've actually always loved country music since I was a little girl. Um, I started singing and performing when I was seven. And I always loved uh, writing, you know, poetry and, and lyrically. And it wasn't until after college that I started sitting down with different folks and, and putting, you know, music to those lyrics. And um, I first came to Nashville in 2010 and started working with different folks out here, different writers and, and people. and. Um, I released my debut EP that Jay DeMarcus from Rascal Flats produced in 2014 and my first two singles After Party and Bar Hoppin um, that came out on Sirius XM The Highway and uh, supported Bar Hoppin with a tour around the Midwest and got to open for some incredible artists uh, like Kenny Rogers, Kenny Chesney, um, Jana Kramer, Cole Swindell and then uh, recently I have been in the studio writing a bunch and recording a new album that's going to come out later this year and my first single uh, that we released off it called Hey California. Perfect. And I was gonna, that was going to be my next question is because I'm also from Southern California. Yeah. So I was going to ask if you were from there. Where are you from? What part of Southern California? Is from so I grew up in Chino. Um, and so yeah, Are you really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so I basically uh, grew up in Chino, California uh, until uh, late elementary school and then my family moved to Brea. So um, I'm sure, as you know, Chino is full of uh, dairy cow fields. Yes. And uh, on a very hot day, sometimes you would get a, a nice scent that would waft over, um, <laughs> you know, with all those cows out there. But no, it was an awesome place to grow up and, yeah. um, you know, we had a bunch of our neighbors had horses and so we would uh, go horseback riding you know sometimes around the neighborhood and um, just really loved I love growing up out there yeah do you miss it do you kind of think about moving back or are you pretty pretty happy now that you've been in Nashville for so long well my uh, my husband and I are actually based in Los Angeles um, but I've been spending three quarters of my time out here the last several years uh, working on my music okay yeah Cool. So we, so I still, I get the best of both worlds. I tell people, I feel like, um, you know, here in Nashville, you get the seasons yeah. and you know, it's a, it's such a, an awesome community, um, of music folks. And then I've got my family out in, in California and, uh, you know, you can't, can't beat the weather out there. Exactly. <laughs> so. Yeah. Definitely miss that. Yes. Um, so can you talk about the album? I mean, I know that, you know, there's probably certain things you can't, but I mean, like what can people expect from the upcoming album that, you, that you're working on? So, um, um, I was really excited when I was writing this album, uh, writing for this album. Um, I, I, I basically co-wrote nine of the 12 songs on this record. And um, I really wanted to speak to women um, that like to cut loose and live a little, but also um, have really lived a little bit of life. And kind of the stuff that, you know, we like talking about behind closed doors. And when we're having our intimate, vulnerable conversations with our girlfriends. And, um, you know, there's some more playful uh, songs on the record um, in some of the more up-tempo songs and like Hey California is you know one of the more playful ones but um, there's definitely uh, some songs on there that I think you know can really speak to um, mature women and um, and and you know dig a little bit deeper and so I'm, I'm really proud of, of the result and, and excited to, to share it with everyone soon yeah oh there's a, I mean it's kind of cool hearing all the push that there is for a lot of female artists now too with the you know female friday or download of female friday stuff that they're doing and Absolutely. so i think that'll be good for people to have that kind of outlook on things you know yeah have it be things that they can relate to well yeah i mean i remember when i was young um trisha yearwood faith hill the dixie chicks um dina carter i mean all these women were so big and playing all the time on country radio and it was like, even even as a child, if I didn't always understand, um, you know, quite what they were singing about, it's like, you know, lyrically, something visually pulls you in. And then as an adult now listening back to these songs, I mean, these ladies really spoke to women and they really sang about real stuff. And so um, that's just what this has inspired me. Right. Yeah. Has there any been any... Um 
something kind of surprising or that you didn't maybe expect for, like being in the West Coast and kind of doing shows there and growing up there versus like touring the rest of the country? Have you seen different responses from people or is it kind of the same all around? You're, you're saying um, response when... Like when you're performing yes. and touring and stuff like that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, You know... I find it, it's interesting what people connect to and, um, you know, everybody comes from all different walks of life, right? And so that's the exciting thing about really getting out on the road because um, music is not only about being in the studio, um, but it's also about live performance and getting out there and connecting with fans and, and making new fans. And, and I love meeting with people after, you know, my shows and, and talking with them and, um, and hearing their stories and hearing, you know, what they connect to with um, certain songs of mine that I've performed or, or stories that I've told. Um, and, you know, people just, uh, you know, they just want to listen to music and they want to have fun. And, you know, it seems like a lot of people want to get away from their daily troubles and struggles and, and that's that's their way to just let loose and, and kind of, um, I mean, that's what music's always been for me as well is um, sort of this therapeutic whether it's like I'm dancing and moving and grooving to it or you know you get a sad song and you're crying through it you know what I mean yeah. and so um, so it's it's really incredible to hear people's stories and, and just to hear how they connect so has there been a specific song of yours that you've really seen like a, a strong response to there's actually a song um, that we have not uh, gone in the studio with but it's one that I have done a lot live and it, and it sort of um, tells a story Story. Uh, it was inspired off of um, one of my really good girlfriend's mother's story, and she was a single mom with um, two young girls, and she was just, you know, busting it trying to um, make a living and and take care of her girls the way that she wanted to. And um, she, you know, the song is called "There's Always a Way," and so it's like. Um, you know, she went through a lot of hard struggles, but she always knew there's always a way. I'm gonna, I, I want to have the best life for my girls and provide, um, you know, a great life for them. And so, just to that empowerment as a woman, um, I've had a lot of women come up to me after shows and go, Oh my god, thank you for that song! Yeah. Do you see yourself maybe putting that on a future project? We, uh, we, yes, we've talked about it. That's that's something that um, you know is very close to my heart, and uh, and I think it's something we may may go in the studio with eventually. Yeah. What is uh, what is the head now for the rest of the year? Are you doing more touring? Yeah. So we are um, we're booking some live dates right now. So you guys make sure to. Uh, Go up to my uh, website. We'll have dates up there soon, and um, and I'll be posting it on social media. And then uh, I've got actually the music video coming out soon for Hey California. Oh, awesome! Yeah, so that is going to be out really soon, and so we're really excited for that. Can you give any kind of insight? Yeah, into yeah, yeah, yeah. Was filmed. I'm it was filmed. Yes, it was so filmed in California, <laughs> and it's kind of cool because we went all around LA, and we did. Um, you know, we did like a day and a half shoot. So we, on the half day, we shot at the Griffith Observatory, if you guys are familiar with that, and LACMA, the museum out there. And then we went to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, where all the stars are. And then uh, and then for the day shoot, we spent a day in Malibu. And we just shot, you know, kind of going up the coast and um, down on the water. And we were on a cliff at one point um, for part of it. And so I feel like it's a mini view into getting to see what Southern California is like. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. you yeah. And just go ahead and let everybody know where they can find you, your website, social media. Yeah, absolutely. You guys can find me at Sandra Lynn Music on social media, and then um, it's SandraLynnMusic.com. And uh, please come talk to me. I love meeting new people, and um, yeah, can't wait to see you guys out on the road.